welcome back to To Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my 2020 spring home tour. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I just finished up all my spring cleaning videos, so the house is ready to go. If you haven't seen those, definitely check those out. Um, I'm also gonna be sharing everything we wanna do in the spaces, so all the upcoming projects we wanna work on. So let's get straight into today's video. start off in is my living room because that's the first thing you see when you walk into our house. We have a very open floor plan so I like to keep everything cohesive. Not a ton has changed in this space. Um, this sectional we love. Um, it's probably one of our bigger purchases but then everything else we just decorate super cheap so I can mix and match. Um, I always get a ton of questions on the sectional. It's from Ashley Furniture and I'll have that link down below in my description box but we love it. You guys always want me to move this somewhere else, but it only fits right here. If I were to put it on that wall, you couldn't open up our front door. And if I were to put it over here, we would not have any way like into our kitchen. So, and that's kind of why we bought it because I love to rearrange and I think I drive my husband crazy. So when we bought this, we knew I couldn't move it. <laughs> so it was a win-win. Um, in some of my last videos, I've had like pictures up high up here on my sofa, but we recently just did some rearranging and I put the mirror back. I just feel like it looks so much more elegant and simple in here. And then I'll show you where I moved those photos here in a little bit. The pillows are all from Ross. Um, I also like pillows from TJ Maxx, but I feel like Ross is cheaper, so I always try to start off there. My gold lamp, I always get tons of comments about. It's from Home Goods. And then my white curtains are from Ikea and my like bamboo shades are from Lowe's. And a lot of questions always um, come about my plant. It's a snake plant or you can also call it a mother-in-law's tongue. And then this gold base was on clearance from Target. <laughs> Another question I get all the time is where did I find this coffee table? Um, I found it on a Facebook marketplace. I knew what I wanted, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And I knew I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I searched for a few months, finally found it. It came up in my small town for only 15 bucks. And then I painted it to match our island in the kitchen that you'll see later. Love this piece. I love that it was cheap. I love that I got to DIY it. So I definitely encourage that. You do not have to have a huge budget to decorate your house. I've always decorated on a budget. Ross, garage sales, Goodwill are all your best friends. Um, this is also a newer rug. Yes, we didn't have this in our last home tour. It's from Boutique Rugs. And I will leave my link and a coupon code down below in the description box. They have amazing rugs there, so definitely check them out if you're in the market. And then I'll kind of head on over to like this side of the living room. Um, this was a Gratzel find as well. It was like 20 bucks, really good deal. We got two of them, but the other one's in my beauty room. Um, pillows are from Ross, and then I actually picked this up at JCPenney. I had the matching ones over on my sofa, and I walked into JCPenney, and this was clearance, and it's the same pillow. So it's perfect now that it ties in. We always get questions about this guy. It's just our air filter. Um, we have bad allergies and then we have some dogs. So we like to always have that on. I'll link it, but it's just from Walmart. Um, this is another piece I picked up from Craigslist. It came painted white. It did have beautiful black knobs on it, which we say we had it on there for a few years, but I just recently switched to like these gold hardware. It updated it so much. So we could have left the black, but sometimes you can just do a simple fix and make something seem brand new and updated. And then this area you guys kind of missed when I first started. This is my entryway. I don't have one. So I just try to make a little rack right here where people can hang their purse or their coats. It's mainly for kids. 
um, and then just my pre unit breathe. But as you can see, we just have a very open floor plan when you come in. Boom, it's right here. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys on into my beauty room. So let's head that way. Okay, now welcome to what I call my beauty room. It's where I get ready. It's where I do all my editing. Um, my closet is in here. So I've just kind of taken over this space and I love it. And my last home tour, this was actually across the house. Um, me and my daughter like to switch rooms like crazy, but I think we finally have it nailed down. I love this space. She loves hers. So this is my desk that I do all my editing from. I get a lot of questions about the desk. It's three pieces from Ikea. Um, and I love it. I have no issues with it. It has great storage. The chair, I feel like I've been getting tons of questions recently. It's from Amazon, but they no longer sell it. So I can't link it for you guys. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, this throw was sent, sent from a really sweet subscriber, but I think it was from like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Love just the touch. It makes the room feel cozy and just a little bit special. Um, Everything else I think you guys have seen before. We'll kind of turn this way. This is my wedding dress. I always get asked, is that your real wedding dress? Yes, it is. I always get asked why I don't have it preserved in a box because I want to enjoy her. She could be in a box that I never see and she would stay brand new, but I just love having her out in here. She hasn't gotten dirty. She hasn't gotten dusty. So her name is Pearl. If you guys are new, we named her over on Instagram. So most of you guys know Pearl. Um, this is my closet space, so I did not like sharing a closet with my husband. I just didn't. <laughs> so that's kind of when I moved into the bedroom and then it became a beauty room and then I started working and it became an office. So that's kind of how it came about. But as you guys can see, I don't wear a lot of color. I do have videos over on my blog channel kind of like talking about my capsule wardrobe and how it works. And then you guys can hear my dog in there, sorry. <laughs> and then I also stuck a chair in here just because I like to like sit down and get ready or put on my shoes. I do a lot of work like when I answer my comments on YouTube, I'll just sit here and like enjoy my space and answer it. So I really do like having the chair in here. I know some of you guys don't, but I love it. Um, over here, I'll turn off this light so you guys can probably see it better. This is my vanity. This is from Etsy probably like six or seven years ago and we got it black and I spray painted it, but I think Amazon has them a lot cheaper now. So I have that link to my Amazon store and my link is down below in the description box. This desk, this was a desk from Wayfair and I just turned it into my vanity and then um, it didn't have knobs. And so we just added this hardware to dress it up a little bit. And then this bench is from Ross and then the marble trash can is from Walmart and that trash can is only $2.88 which I think is a steal. And then over here on this wall my um, plant tree is from Kirkland's and then the base is from Walmart. And then I recently put this in um, since the last home tour but it's just four different Walmart shelves so it's actually from like here to here and here so there's six cubes in each one and so we stacked four of them. They're like 30 bucks from Walmart. I'll have that link down below too. But I love just seeing my shoes on display and I love that it limits me to a certain amount of shoes. So I don't have shoes anywhere else. This is it. So if I wanna buy a new pair, I'll have to get rid of a pair I don't love as much to put in a new pair. So it really makes me think when I'm shopping and I see a pair of shoes, I'm like, do I love them enough to get rid of another pair? And it kind of keeps you on track. So this is my beauty room and now I'll take you into my bathroom. Okay, 
so this is my bathroom it's nothing special because it's not the master bathroom but it's all I need I love that I don't have to like share with my husband it is like a pretty small space but it works out perfect I've got all my storage down here we did add like new crystal knobs and then my jewelry up there but I just kind of wanted you to see in this space but like I said it's you know it's nothing special but it works out perfect because I at least have my own space in here to get ready Okay, now we are in my laundry room. This isn't a huge laundry room. It's not a mud room, but I feel like it's perfect for the space. I haven't really mentioned this is a four bedroom, three bathroom house, and it's, what's the square footage? About 1,800. About 1,800 square feet. So it's not a huge house to say the least. I feel like they did really good um, with how they set it up and how they made the floor plan. I have great storage here. I mean, if you can tell like from where I'm hitting, it goes all the way up to the ceiling. We have super high ceilings, so I have all of this for storage. And then I also have a cabinet here as well and a drawer. I think the only thing I wish they would have done differently in this room is I wish they would have added a sink just for when I'm doing laundry. I definitely don't need it, but it would be nice. Like my um, tiger's dog bowls are in here, just like getting water and stuff but it's nice to have the extra space. I do have a rack to like hold the clothes when it's air drying. And then we also added like this mop rack over here just so I could keep all my mops easily in here and they're hung so they're not like all over the ground. They're not falling behind the door. We have my vacuums hung. And then recently we also added these big pictures. I would, I don't know what made me think to put family pictures in here, but I'm so glad I did. I don't know if I'm going to come in here and do laundry. It's just kind of nice to see my family and my baby girl. So, um, I'm going to talk about this real fast because I always get a ton of questions. It's from Ross. Um, but I know Big Lots carries it and I know it's in my Amazon store. So if you guys are looking for that, I always get tons of questions. So now we're going to go ahead and go into our master bedroom now. Now we're in our master bedroom. There's been a few changes in here since the last video. We have gotten a new comforter and new pillows. This um, is actually at Kohl's right now. I got it for Christmas and so we paid a lot more for it, but now it's on like a clearance out sale. Like they're actually discontinuing it. So I'll link that down below, but I'm, I absolutely love this. The only bad thing is, is all the shams are sold out. So I just kind of got some pillows from Ross up here and made it work, but I love how it turned out. Um, we also recently added, these were the pictures that were above my sectional over in our living room and I love them in here. I love seeing them. I feel like it adds so much because this bedroom is very just simple and plain. So I'm so happy with how those turned out. Those are actually from Fracture, so I can leave that link down below, but it's just pictures printed on glass. Um, those were the, like the same ones in my laundry room if you guys have any questions. And then over here, um, these nightstands were $15 off Facebook Marketplace. If you guys can't tell, I absolutely love that. I try to search it just daily to find good deals. And then the lamps are from Ross. Um, I love our bed. It's from Amazon. It's super affordable, but I have been kind of getting the itch to switch. I don't even think the cameraman, my husband, <laughs> knows it, but I would like to kind of get a more grand one eventually. So. 
I'm sure that'll happen one day. It's not like in the super near future. Um, something that I would like to do super quick or soon is my light. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that in my beauty room. We recently got a fandelier. Um, I'm sure I'll add a picture over there for you guys, but I'd love to put like the fandelier in here because I do want the fan. I feel like we use a fan to sleep a lot, but I don't like the look of it. So I love how it's like a chandelier and then the blades come out. So I'd love to do that at some point. Um, over here we did bring in the fireplace. This was once in our living room and we had gotten the dresser in there for more storage and so on a whim we put it in here and we love it. It makes the space feel so much um, larger. It makes it feel more grand. It makes it feel cozy. So we've absolutely loved having this in here. We do need to eventually hang the cords in the wall. We just haven't got around to it. So that will be a future project. And then over here, I have this ottoman. You guys have seen this throughout my house in probably every single bedroom. It's been in my living room, it's been in my beauty room, and now it's here in the bedroom. I just love that it's like a half moon and then it opens up and I keep all my blankets in it. I don't hoard a lot of items, but I love blankets. And so I cram them all in there so we have them. And then once again, all the pillows are from Ross. Yes, all of those are from Ross. This is my husband's closet. So he has the master closet, obviously, but he also has a lot more clothes than me. So it just works better. So he has this whole closet. All of his clothes can be spaced out. It was really crammed when I was in here, even though I don't own a lot. Like basically he had the whole top and I had the whole bottom and it was just super crammed. So I love how it turned out. We keep our laundry basket in here. Um, we also get a lot of questions about um, his hat storage. So this was mine when I was in here. I used to collect rustic cuffs, so I have a ton of bracelets and I used to hang them from here. And then when I moved, I didn't have a place to put this obviously in my beauty room, so I left it and we hung all of his hats. So this is super cheap. Like you can find a crate, is that what it's called? Yes. Okay, a pallet, it's so called a pallet. And then nails, we just pick those up and you nail them in and at least he can see all of his hats. I feel like a lot of guys like just stack them to save space somewhere, but then they forget what they have because it kind of gets lost in the middle. So it's just nice to have them on display. Like I said, it's super easy to do um, and cheap, and then he can see everything he has. Man, this guy knows how to work that closet. <laughs> That's right. Um, I'm gonna take you into our master bathroom. It's nothing special, but let's head that way real fast. Okay, there's not a ton I can show you in here. I probably just showed you all the fancy clips before, but it's a double sink. We have lots of storage space. We have a bathtub, a stand-up shower, and then the toilet with a ton of storage up there as well. So I feel like they used the spaces really well, even though they're a little bit smaller than most. Um, he just jam packed us with um, storage. So one day in here, we would love to eventually take, I don't use this tub. I don't love the jets in it. So the cheapest route would be to take it out and just do like a normal tub without jets. But if we ever can, we'd love just to take the whole tub out and then extend the shower, making it larger. I know that's going to be like a huge project one day, so I don't know where it fits in on the timeline, but that is something we plan to be here for a very long time. So our goal is to extend that out one day and just make the shower a lot nicer. But other than that, everything works well. I would like to get a granite top or quartz top or something like that as well. That would be a super easy fix. Um, I'd also like to frame out our mirror. I know a lot of people pull these out and just add single mirrors. We could also do that, but I feel like these big mirrors just make the space feel so much bigger and we need that in here. Um, so that's all future projects that we'll be working on one day. Okay, real quickly before we head on over to the other side of the house, I forgot to show you my chandelier here in my beauty room. This was my Valentine's Day gift and I love it. This is actually what I want to put into our master bedroom as well. So as you can see right now, it is just a beautiful chandelier. It is gorgeous. But what makes this so special is it has a remote and it has a fan on it. So I'm going to turn it on. And if you just wait a second, you're going to see those clear blades pop out. And now it's a fan. I didn't think the fan was actually going to work that well, but I don't know if he'll put the camera back on me. Like, I don't know if you can tell, like it has, this is on high too, but it has so much power. Like it is super strong. I wish you guys could like feel it right now, but I promise you it works 
so well. Um, if it's in the budget, you're going to love it. Like I said, I definitely want to put it into our master bedroom. Um, let me turn this off for you guys real fast. Okay, I wanted to show you because it does have like three different light settings if you're curious. So that's what it looks like off so you can see how pretty it is. And when I turn it on, it's super bright and blue. This is the clear setting. Then I'm gonna turn it off. This one is like more of your warm. This is probably what you guys have in most of your houses. I have like daylight bulbs because I film a lot. And then this one's in between. So there's three different settings. I love them. You can choose it however you want. And then there's also three um, fan speeds as well. Okay, now we're back into like the main living room of my house. Before I show you my kitchen and dining room, I'm gonna take you to Savannah's side of the house. So let's head to her room. Okay, now we're in my daughter's room. This once was my beauty room. We flip flop these two rooms all the time, but I think we're both finally happy with how it's working out. Um, this is her bedding. It's from Target. All of her pillows are from Ross. I love Ross pillows. They're just so affordable. Um, and then she's just hung some pictures up here that I love. I also get a lot of questions about the headboard. My dad actually made this for her, but I do have one that's very close to it linked in my Amazon store. Um, I used to have this in my beauty room, this table, and she loved it and wanted to set it up in here. So she calls this like her media station or technology station. I forgot the word, but she just has like her iPad, her camera, her headphones. I think it's so sweet how she has this all set up. And then this is her laundry basket down here as well. What's nice, it has wheels on it so she can just roll it down to me when it's a full. Um, and we found that at Ross. And then over here, I'll show you inside her closet. It's pretty clean for the most part. It's a kid's closet. So she's got all her clothes, stuffed animals, shoes, and books. Um, all of the closet systems were put in. The builder custom made those for us. Once again, it's not a huge closet, but since he put so much storage in them, it's just so helpful. Like it's plenty of space and it actually goes way up but we have a shelf up there. So I'm super impressed with our builder and the way he made all of our spaces work. There's like no dead space whatsoever. Um, and then over here is her dresser. This is something we found on Craigslist too. This has been many different colors. When I first bought it, it was like a rainbow and zebra themed. And then for a while she had a green, like a soft green and pink room. And then when she made this switch, I just painted it gray and I just spray painted the knobs gold. So once you have a really good solid piece, it's easy to fix it and change it and DIY it just to go ahead and fit your space. She also has pictures up here as well. These are the same glass prints from Fracture. We absolutely love them if you guys can tell. So this is her grown up space. She loves it. You won't see toys in here because she actually has a playroom. So now we're gonna head into that room now. Okay, now we're in my daughter's playroom. This was once our guest bedroom, but it got used maybe once or twice a year and it just seemed so wasteful. Um, and so we turned it into her playroom and she uses it every single day. It was the best decision we ever made. Um, we picked up this futon from Walmart. I think it looks amazing. We actually have it laid out right now as the bed, but it can set up like a sofa, but she likes having it laid flat with just tons of pillows. I feel like it looks nicer that way and a little more luxurious. Once again, all the pillows are from 
Ross. These may be TJ Maxx, but they may be Ross. But all of them are mainly from Ross. I just threw it onto a Grace sofa. Um, we recently added this artwork in here. It used to be in our bedroom where we have the photos now. So we did a lot of rearranging one day. Being stuck inside will give you the itch to switch. But it tied this whole room together. I've been looking for a piece for in here and the whole time it was hanging up in my bedroom. So I encourage you to shop your house. Um, we're all stuck inside right now. We're all on tight budgets just with the world. Shop your house, rearrange. You can make your house feel brand new for zero dollars. It's so easy to do. And that's what we did here. And it completely changed the space. Um, over here is the closet. It's just like the closet from her bedroom, but we just have all of her games and American Girl doll stuff. It did have doors on it, but when it opened, it would have opened into here and hit the futon and she didn't like the doors on it. So we just hung curtains. Um, these are off Amazon. They're the same curtains that you've seen throughout the house. They're just up here on what you would put like your shower curtain on in a bathroom. And I just tucked it way up there on super tight. And then you can just open and close these. So when she's in here, she'll keep it open. And then if we need to close it off to hide everything in it, you can. Super easy fix. Um, those same curtains are over here. We have them in pink and the window. It's going to be hard with the lighting, so I'll shut these real fast. Um, but we have them in pink. They block out the light really well. I buy the tallest ones. My tip to you guys is hang your curtains as high as you can. It makes the space feel larger and more grand and it just looks higher end and then we're gonna head on over to this wall um this was a recent upgrade my daughter loves her american girl dolls if you can tell and she was wanting a dollhouse but they were super expensive i tried finding some online but like we don't have a truck to get it here so we decided to go to lowe's and my husband just built this we just built it one day we kind of drew it out um, we took contact paper for all the flooring, super easy project. We even picked out like which rooms are bigger, which ones are smaller. She loves it. She has a TV up here, but you can tell how much she uses it. <laughs> the dolls are more priority, but I love that. Um, it was hung in here for when it was a guest bedroom. So the bed used to be out here and then they would have the TV, but we left it. A lot of the time she'll just turn on music and let it play while she's in here playing. So this is her space. We have this rug down here as well. Um, it was from Ross. It was like 20 bucks, super cheap. So definitely shop Ross, not right now, <laughs> but when they open back up, you can find some really good deals here. So now we're going to head on to the guest bathroom, which is a case famous bathroom. And then I'll be taking you into our kitchen. Okay. One thing we lack in this house is like hall closets. We don't have a linen closet. We don't have a coat closet. We do have this hall closet right here and it's perfect because we keep all of our homeschool and craft supplies, party stuff. I'm going to show you in it, but this is my real life. It's one of those spaces. I cannot keep it clean. Like this is the cleanest I can keep it, but I wanted to be real and show you guys. So this is it right here. It is a little messy. Obviously we have water right now, just so we have a spare. Um, I just keep bins in here to keep it as organized as possible. So she loves to do slime. This needs to go back in here. Um, so her whole thing full of slime to make slime is in there. This is keepsakes. We have a homeschool bin. We have like our important documents. We have electronics. So these aren't organized at all, but at least what is in them is organized. So I don't put anything but like electronics in this one. This one is only for slime items. So that's the best I can do. You can see all of her homeschool. I like to keep crafts very open and accessible so she can grab it without me and go. We have tons of paper and then workbooks, but, um, oh, and then up here is all my gift wrapping stuff. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. We all have spaces that just don't function well <laughs> or don't look pretty. This functions well, it just doesn't look pretty, but that is as nice as I can get it. I've organized it so many times on my channel and I've learned just to like let it go. This is as good as it's gonna get right now. Oh, but while we're talking about home projects, one day it's gonna be so sad, but one day Savannah's not gonna live here and I've always thought about at that point, we could knock these down or leave one, but we could put up a rod and this could actually be our coat closet. Um, even one day when she's not into crafts, we could do that. So this could be like a linen or a coat closet one day, but right now I love it being just like our, it's almost like a craft closet for us right now. Okay, this is the last 
last bathroom I'm going to show you guys, I promise. What's nice is we do have a three bathroom house and only three of us live here. So we all have our own space, which is super nice. Um, her bathroom is a lot like mine. I think it's actually even bigger, but it's got just the same cabinet space here above the toilet. Like I said, he gave us so much storage. Like if you can see, like it's way taller than what I am. So we can keep a ton of stuff in there. Um, the shower curtain is from Ross. I love having just a ton of like neutrals, but with it, there's like a small print in it. So it keeps it from getting boring. If I just had a plain white curtain, it could get boring fast. So try to pay attention to detail when you're buying neutral things. We also added the crystal knobs in here. As far as projects go, obviously we need to repaint. If you can tell it's chipping, our builder did not give us good paint at all. Um, so I'm gonna have to pick a color and paint these. We may add new hardware, possibly like a new faucet. It's something that we could DIY easy. Um, same thing, I might frame this out. I don't know when we're gonna do it, but it is on the list um, just to kind of spruce this area up just a little bit. But now let's head into our dining room and kitchen. It's not like a formal dining, it's more like a dining and nook, but I was so excited to have this space. Our last house just barely had room for a table, so I was so excited when we moved into this one and had this whole area. So in my last home tour, this wasn't here. This is a recent DIY. I have a whole video on it. Um, it was on this channel, it was on Till Vacuum, but we picked this up and redid it. If you could see the before picture on this, it is night and day. We used contact paper to cover up the wood top that was messed up. We painted this to match our island and then it added all new hardware. It completely transformed it. Um, my husband is now at home working with me, so he needed a workspace because I'm always working at my desk area. And we also homeschool our daughter. We homeschooled before homeschooling was cool. <laughs> We've always homeschooled her, so she has this space as well. It's also nice, like when we need to get some work done, but we wanna be with the family, it's just out here in the open. I also love it, so if my daughter has to use the internet, it's in the open as well, so we can see what's going on. So I love this space. Um, once again, another plant. This came from Ross, the lamps from Ross. When in doubt, go to Ross, <laughs> that's my theory. Um, here's our kitchen table. We always get tons of questions about this. My dad had made it for me. Um, the chairs are from TJ Maxx. The clear chairs are from Home Goods. These were from like a flea market. Always get lots of questions about that. I'll probably update these one day. I just don't know what to put in here. You guys always want me to put a mirror, but a mirror's over there. So I just haven't found the right thing. I know I will eventually. I'm dying to put a round table in here, but um, my other half likes the long, so I don't know, we just can't decide. I left this table in here until the desk, but I would like a really grand round table, not like a small one, but a large one. So maybe we'll do that one day. Um, love our family of three. Always get tons of questions about this. This is from Three Mango Seed. She's local, but she ships. She is on Instagram, she is on Etsy. You can check her out. She can custom make you whatever you want, but we love our family of three. And then we also added a new rug in here. So this used to be, don't get too close, it's dirty from the boys. Um, real life when you have a white rug and muddy dogs, it gets dirty. But this is what used to be in our living room and then we got the new rug in there. So I brought this one into this space, I love it always get questions about it it is from ross as well so i can't link it that's the one thing what's hard when i shop on a budget it's really hard to link things for you guys because i can't link it um this is also our chandelier in here we get questions about this has been in the family for a while so i can't link it i would love i thought about putting this in my beauty room but then um, i end up getting my chandelier but 
we had this originally in Savannah's nursery, and then we had it in a beauty room. We've had it everywhere. Poor Chase has moved to this so many times, so hopefully it stays right there. But now I'm gonna take you over into my kitchen. before I take you outside is my kitchen. I'm super happy where my kitchen is right now. I don't see any updates in the future other than if we have to like repaint the cabinets. Oh, there is one more. Chase is pointing back behind me. I want to get a new light here. We have so many lights here and I just cannot figure out what I want. Um, I've got a lot in my Amazon cart, so I need to just keep trying them out, but I do want to fix that. But I love how we've added all the gold. We have the gold faucet. Um, we've added crystal knobs to the top cabinets. We've added gold hardware. Um, and then last year we painted the island. This used to be dark wood. It was a little bit different than our wood floor and it just seemed so dark and heavy in here. So we finally bit the bullet and had this spray painted and we absolutely love it. It brightened up the space so much. Um, this is a light too. Um, it didn't come with the house and when we bought it originally, we bought it like a really dark brown. And I didn't like it. We got in the space, it was too bright or too dark and we couldn't return it. So I spray painted it silver, you had no idea. And then I started adding all these pops of gold and I could have bought a new gold light, but I thought I liked the style. So we just took it down, took all the glass out of it and I spray painted it, saved us so much money. So just get creative when you're decorating because there's so many ways to update your space with spray paint, with paint, contact paper, garage sales. You can do it on a tight budget, I promise you trying to see if there's anything else. porch and I'm sorry if the lighting's bad it's super sunny so we've got shade and light once again this was just in my recent video so if you guys have any questions most of it's going to be from JC Penney I will say these pillows are from Amazon and I just put all the pillows in there the chairs I found off Facebook and they were $15 for the pairs so you could definitely get good, good finds um, this was off Craigslist. This, we used to have two of these and they were our nightstands in our bedroom, but we replaced them and I thought it would be so fun and nice to have the storage out here and I love it. Um, this is from Ross and then the rest is JCPenney. Um, I grabbed this. The top was getting a little worn just from the weather and the rain. So I just put a really cute rug on it like a table runner and I think it turned out great. And then the candles turn on at night. They're self, -tan, um, self timer. So I love that in the evening, it'll pop up and just blow out here like it's a living room space. We did used to have the rug out here. You guys saw it in the last video. We've had it out here for a while, but the last rain just took it out. It got so muddy and it was white. So I went ahead and decided to get rid of it, but I would like to get a new rug out here one day. We just haven't found one yet. And then over here, we have this mat, it's from um, Ross, and then this white and black one is from Hobby Lobby. I love the double layering. And then another thing I always get asked about is this sign. Once again, it's three mango seeds, just like the other one. We love our family of three. I love having it in here, it's so grand. I love how it pops against the white house. Okay, I went ahead and came back inside. It is so hot and sunny out there, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. I hope I inspired you just to kind of update your house and do it on a budget because you can definitely do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, I post two videos a week here on this channel and two videos a week over on our vlog channel. So make sure you're following us both places and I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye.